Let's do it, yeah. <laughs> if you lose, bro. If you lose. Oh, no. Thank you. Manhood! Woo! Oh, oh, come on, come on! <laughs> What's going on, beer lovers? Welcome to another episode. I'm Jeff. I'm Jacob. I'm Mia. And today we're actually in Vegas. Uh, if you guys saw our Beer Zombies Festival episode last year, guess what? We're back. We're back. They dragged, <laughs> they dragged me to it. Yeah. Uh, beer Zombies has had a week-long event at all kinds of breweries, bottle shops, you name it. And this is like the culmination of everything. They have some of the best breweries in the world here and we're gonna get to drink their beer. So, you guys ready? Ready. ready. Let's have some beer. Welcome everyone to the 2020 Beer Zombies Craft Beer Festival. This is one of the most crowded events I've ever been to and rightfully so. It's like a giant block party of beer lovers. There's music playing, people are dancing, having a great time, and obviously there is beer pouring everywhere. Most of this beer you would only get by visiting the brewery itself, so we're in for a treat. People are pumped to be here, someone even brought their zombie drinking buddy with them. We are hangover free, Chris is cracking open bottles, so let's get started. Right from Celestial Brewing, I have their Berliner Weiss. It comes in at 5%. It's an apricot with vanilla Weiss, so it's my first one of the day. It, it smells like apricot juice right on the nose. It smells, it smells good. So it's tart, has an apricot flavor, but then the vanilla, it balances it out and makes it really soft. So, it's kind of like if you were to have a mimosa but apricot one, but it's also beer, so I guess not really the same thing, but it's good. It's a good first one. <laughs> uh, so, cheers. All right, guys, so the first beer for me today is going to be from The Answer. They're in Richmond, Virginia. This is a collaboration with Beer Zombies. I believe it's called BZ Daylight, Mother of Berries, Puff Sickle, something like that. It's a uh, fruited beer, if you can't tell. Uh, it looks like beet juice, to be honest with you, but I'm sure it doesn't taste like beet juice. Uh, here's to starting the day off right. Cheers. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh. It's like a really tart fruit smoothie. Oh my god. I know a lot of you guys out there love these really fruity beers, like the 450 North slushy beers and stuff. This is probably right up your alley. Probably not something that I would go to on a regular, but uh, what I will tell you is it is very, very, very forward. Uh, it's good. I like it. It's just it's probably not my style, but good warm up here. All right, guys. So I'm going to be drinking uh, Dream from oh. Burley Oak, oh, which is a seven percent uh, double blackberry cobbler style beer. Um, it straight up smells like a dessert. Like it smells like pastry. <laughs> like I can almost smell the crust. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> as I was expecting it to be from that description. Uh, there's also lactose in here. Uh, this festival also has kind of a lot of those like musicals, like popsicle kind of uh, beers that are really fucking thick. This one's actually, I mean it's thick but it's not like, you know, coating my glass like a crazy layer of fruit, but it's really good. Um, yeah, they did a job. They had one goal for it to taste like a blackberry cobbler, and they did it. Cheers. All right, guys, so from our friends at 8-Bit Brewing in Marietta, uh, I have series of diversions. This is a hazy double IPA, 8.4%. This is actually a beer that they're not releasing until next week. Probably by the time you see this episode, it's already been released and sold out. Uh, sorry, <laughs> but anywho, I love these guys. They make incredible beer, so it's really awesome to be able to have their stuff here. Cheers. Oh. Dan, their 
Head Brewer is a hop smith. This is just fantastic flavors from the beginning till the end. It's coating my palate. And for an IPA, this has got a really crisp, clean finish. Uh, this is a beer that I could drink pretty darn fast. Uh, usually IPAs you want to sip on, but I think if I had a whole can of this, it would be gone in like two minutes. This is the other half. Good stuff. All right, guys, I followed my eyes and I found a bottle uh, that was pouring that looked like it was going to be a sour, and I was 100% correct. Uh, this is from Imbibe Custom Brew Works out of Reno, Nevada. Um, and it is a Belgian style lambic, so yeah, cheers. It 100% it has the right smell, so that's already a really good start. Wow. Yeah, it, I had a Grey Fontaine earlier as my first beer. This is definitely reminiscent of that. I feel like this one is uh, more prickly and bubbly uh, on the tongue. Really like it. Go okay. Yeah, I mean, this is just really enjoying it. Try it. <laughs> that is bubbly on the tongue. Yeah. That's a good call. This guy knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Alright, that's one thing I know, right? <laughs> it has carbonation. I don't like all right, so I have a beer from a brewery in North Dakota called Trekker. Uh, if you saw their label, uh, you might think it's Aero Lodge, uh, but it's actually a Viking, not a deer head. Uh, anywho, uh, this is called Cuddle Buddies. It's a 8% double hazy IPA. Uh, with a name like that, you know I have to go for it. Uh, by the way, we're by an airport, so listen to this. So, I'm excited for it. I will say it's not super hazy. Like, you can see through it, it looks more unfiltered, but at the end of the day, it's how it tastes. Cheers. It's decent. I do feel like it's uh, a little more on the herbaceous side. It's not really like a fruity, juicy IPA. There are some fruit and tropical notes, uh, but it definitely, I mean, this tastes like like fresh hops. Like this just got canned. Um, probably not my favorite of the day, but uh, decent. All right, well, a little bit. How's everyone doing? You're doing good? I would say look for their sours because this is a home run. Alright, so it's at that point in uh, the beer fest 
where I now feel comfortable starting to go for the big boys. Uh, this is a 16% blend of stouts from modern times called Wizard Blend. Which, I mean, shout out to my Burning Man group, uh, the Wizards. Like, fucking, I can't not have a beer called Wizard Blend. Um, let's see how this is. I'm really hoping modern times didn't just blend a bunch of leftover stouts together and bottle it. <laughs> uh, cheers. <laughs> melted chocolate with just that nice just sticky bourbon thing going on you know almost it has a little bit of sharpness to it almost like whiskey as opposed to bourbon even though there's sweetness um it feels like sweet chocolate and then like some sharp bourbon or almost like a rye i like it though um, I feel like I want like a hint of coffee, but that's just because I like coffee and for whatever reason there seems to be a lack of coffee in the south here. Um, cheers! reviewing any other beers, but I got this beer from Other Half, and it is by far the best thing I've had all day. This is called Cane Life. It is a imperial stout. It's got coconut, cocoa nibs, uh, some peppers. I don't remember what the peppers were, Jacob, you remember? Ancho, Ancho chili peppers. Um, but it just blew my mind. I got to review it for you guys, so here we go. Cheers. It's beautiful, guys. So, the cocoa nibs are definitely prominent throughout. You get that sweetness of the chocolate. You get airplanes flying over while you're reviewing, you know? Um, but for me, if you guys know me well enough, I love coconut, especially if it's executed well in a beer. And this beer is absolutely executed to perfection. The ancho chilies I actually didn't taste initially. And then the uh, the guys that were serving the beer pointed out the chilies. I looked for it. It's there at the end, but it's such a mild heat. Like honestly, you hear chili peppers in a beer and you're thinking it's gonna be hot. This ain't hot like that, but it is hot like that. It's very, very good. Love this beer. Chills. So if you saw my beer review episode like a year ago of a can of uh, hazy IPA called Draugr, uh, this is a guy that made it, Espen Westham. And this is our first time meeting, well, we met last night. We met last night, that was a lot of fun and too. And we were drunk as fuck. Yes, we were drunk as fuck. Uh, but yeah, I want to introduce you guys to this dude. Came all the way from Norway, loves craft beer, big friend with uh, Chris, Beer Zombies. And now I can say that you are also one of my close friends. I love it, man. I fucking love it. Thanks, I'm man. just saying, check out Norwegian beer, man. Skull. Hi, my name is Elena. I'm also a craft beer girl on Instagram. I'm drinking 8-Bit Brewing. Uh, it's a new double IPA. It's called Series of Diversity Ones. Um, it's really good. I want to say it's my favorite, but I also don't remember what else I drink this afternoon, night. But it's really good. I don't know what hops are in it. I hope this is okay for an interview. <laughs> I'm Texas beer, and I'm drinking uh, the same beer that Elena was drinking at Avon. Smells fantastic. That's nice. So it's all hops, it's not powder, it's not pellets. Uh, if I had to guess, it's not citrus, so it's mosaic and maybe amarillo. That being said, quote me on it, maybe. 
I'm not gonna lie. That might be my taste buds knowing what it is. What up, Albie and my AP Brigade? I gotta say, my favorite style of the day was from The Answer. It's fucking decadent and creamy. I could drink that shit all day. Let's go! There you go. Hey, what's up? I'm George, I'm Ivan Hayes. Favorite beer of today? I have no clue. There's so much good beer. Probably 8 uh, bit. Brujo Stout, both of them, delicious. Um, answer, great sour goose. Hazy. What hazy was good? Probably uh, Arrow Lodge had a great hazy. And that's about all I've had that I really liked. What's up, homies? I'm Edgar from Beer Throw Life. We're here at the Beer Zombies event. And my favorite beer of the day today was Andy for Life. Yeah. Cheers, motherfuckers. Hey, I'm James, aka Flora Vita on Instagram. What is that? And Jen, come to Flora on Instagram. We are at the fucking Beer Zombies Festival, girl. Hell yeah, don't sleep on Beer 30 apparel. And don't sleep on Answer Stouts. Everybody loves their juice, but they got a double bourbon barrel aged stout. Fire. to the festival. We're out here. We're killing it. Everyone is everywhere. I just got Corona, but I'm gonna survive. I'm done with the beers. We just did a chug. We should have another beer because this is let's have a beer show, but we're done for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the festival. Stand out beer. Moxa's Barrel Age was amazing. I don't remember the name of it. Mouthfeel, perfect. Sweetness, perfect. Barrel Age, perfect. So, if you guys get a chance, go get it. Here. All right, guys, so that is gonna do it here at the Beer Zombies Festival in Vegas. Holy shit, what a great time. Yeah, I'm happy. Second time here. Uh, just as good as the first. Great. First time was fun. Very crowded. Yes. yes. We prepared for the crowds. Had to watch these two boys. Mama Mia had to kick in and keep, keep an eye out for these two as they had like 27% stouts, etc. etc. So, but it was a good time. I will say, if you want to have some of the best beers in the world and you don't always have the opportunity to get them, you can come here and listen to airplanes Woo! fly by while you're drinking some of the best beers in the world. Other half, Trey Fontaine, like, holy shit, so man. So many, so many breweries, such a So selection. many amazing breweries. Uh, anyways, we had a great time. Thank you so much, Chris, Beer Zombies, the whole gang. Thanks for inviting us out. It's a blast. I love this festival. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure that you give us a thumbs up. You share with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time on Let's, Let's Have, have some, some Beer. Cheers. I want fries. You want fries? I want some Frenchy Frenchies. I want some Frenchies. I haven't had any carbs since the panties in the morning. You want some chicken nuggies? <laughs> I want oh some chicky tendies. Some chicky tendies? <laughs> some, some tendies of chickies?